I, 27F, have been married to my husband, 32M, for three years and have been dating for a little over five. My husband has this friend, 31F Mary. They've known each other since they were in high school and she's considered one of the boys, if you may. That basically means she's always invited to all the fishing trips and stuff, which I don't mind at all, I trust my husband. Well, my problems with Mary started when she first found out I'm half Romanian. It started kinda innocently, with her asking me to say certain words, teach her some insults, etc. which didn't necessarily bother me, but it usually put me on the spot whenever we were out with my husband's group of friends. It only escalated to her googling stuff about Romania and asking me, are you a vampire? Do you bite your husband by the neck? Too are you a gypsy? I bet you've got some of that gypsy blood in you, which is just blatantly terrible. Last week, I and my husband organized a mini BBQ with our friends and Mary was invited by my husband despite me telling him she makes me uncomfortable. He said he had talked to her about her remarks and she's been understanding so it's unlikely she'll say something this time. It was midnight and there were about four of us left. I accidentally spilled some red wine on Mary's jeans when I tripped over a carpet. All hell broke loose. Mary started saying that I'm a witch and I'm trying to ruin her life and this whole thing is part of my ritual and I'm just an immigrant gypsy trying to ruin my husband's life and I've poisoned my husband against her. I started crying and profusely apologizing. When she wouldn't drop it, I kicked her out and banned her from ever coming to my house again. Am I the idiot for doing this? My husband insists that Mary was just drunk and talking nonsense and he would talk to her. He also told me I'm way too sensitive about my heritage and I'm the idiot for banning her. Mary has since given me a half-hearted apology, but I'm still not okay with her. Update. Sorry, I'm still a mess and idk how coherent I am. We've talked. He admitted to being in and out of an affair with Mary in the first two years of our relationship and she wanted to win him back I guess. I called my mom to come to help me pack some stuff and I'm out. That's it. Mary can have him I've been gaslit for years. Oh, the irony. A lot of people seemed suspicious of Mary and my husband's friendship relationship etc and have asked if I ever suspected anything. No, I didn't. I and my husband had, or I thought we had, a very strong relationship based on communication and honesty, guess it only applied to me. Also, Mary is very close with all the boys in the said friendship group. The other wives raised concerns in the past, but they've all been shut down by the boys in the group or by Mary herself. I guess I always respected their friendship group because they were very close for so long and it felt unfair to change that because of me. As far as I'm aware, the other wives feel the same, plus Mary has been in an LD relationship for about two years and always claims she's focusing on her career, she's too busy, etc. so none of us ever saw her as a potential threat. But now it just makes me think there could be more to this story. But I'm tired, as of right now, I am just exhausted. My Romanian witch blood won't let me live until I find out the whole truth, but I need time. Not the idiot. I think your husband needs to reevaluate the fact that he'd be friends with someone that's so disrespectful to his own wife. Also just drunk is not an excuse. If that is how you are when drunk, then don't get drunk. I think the saying goes drunk words are sober thoughts. Not the idiot. She's being terrible and your husband should be standing up for you. Maybe down the line if her behavior improves and you forgive her, you could consider rescinding the ban, but unless that happens you're doing a reasonable thing and he should be in your corner on this one. Okay, so this is kind of a weird situation. My wife is one of those super prim and proper chicks. Like she's the walking definition of an 80s housewife. You won't ever catch her doing anything impolite, whether it's burping or farting or crapping or any basic body function. Even weirder, when asked about it she completely denies she does any of these things. I've never managed to catch her, up until she had our daughter. She had an emergency C-section and had a rough time recovering from it. She wasn't able to get up and walk by herself so I had to help her to the toilet and since she's so weird about needing privacy to pee, I'd just go to the other room and she'd call me when she was done. Well, she had been in there for a while and I'm like oh she totally has to be crapping. So I went in there and sure enough, she was. I teased her and was like. See. I knew you crapped too. She got really embarrassed and told me to shut up and leave her alone and started to cry, so I left to let her finish, but teased her about it afterward. She was really emotional so I shut up about it for a while. Well now some time has passed and she's no longer an emotional mess, so I figured I could finally tease her again. Every once in a while I'll casually bring it up like we'll be talking about something and I'll be like still it wasn't as bad as that time you crap. Man, that was awful, I could smell it from in here. She always gets mad and yells at me to shut up, which is hilarious. Well, she broke down the other day and started yelling and sobbing when I brought it up, saying that was a difficult time for her and she's still embarrassed about it and she hates me making fun of her for it. 
I told her it was just funny because it was the only time I got to catch her doing it and it was harmless teasing and it was no big deal. But I kind of feel bad because she was really crying about it and my friend said I was a jerk for making fun of something that happened right after giving birth. So am I the idiot. I'm just trying to have fun and joke around with her. You're the idiot. Dude, come on. You know this kind of stuff embarrasses her. She was mortified when you walked in on her. She continued to be mortified when you brought it up. And you still kept doing it. You made your wife cry. That's not harmless teasing. That's outright bullying. That's so emotionally scarring. She was in such a vulnerable position and OP decides to make a huge deal about something that embarrassed her while she is recovering from a major medical procedure. And for what purpose even? I don't know how his wife was ever able to trust him again. Such idiot. You're the idiot. Your wife had an emergency section and had trouble recovering and your response as her husband was to make fun of her while she was struggling to recover from major abdominal surgery on top of a traumatic birth experience and to continue to make fun of her for it because you, the person who didn't have surgery, think she should be over it. I, 32M, met my wife three years ago. We got married nine months ago. We have a baby boy together that she got pregnant with while we were engaged. My wife used to be an easy girl. No judgment on that, please. She did what she had to do to survive. My parents were always being skeptical about her and a lot of times asked if I want to settle down with her. When she got pregnant, they went nuts and demanded a DNA test. They refused to attend the wedding till the DNA test was done which caused a huge problem. They ended up missing the wedding obviously. The test was done because my wife wanted to prove a point and eventually, my parents made amends and we reconciled. They started visiting and yesterday noticed a photo of the DNA test that I hang in the living room. They asked about it and I told them that it serves as a reminder of why they didn't attend my wedding, they were stunned and livid when I mentioned that I tell any guest the same thing I told them. Mom and dad were mad and asked me repeatedly to take it down, saying I'm being too harsh on them and refusing to let go of the past, as well as embarrassing them to the other family members. I refuse to take it down and I admit to being sarcastic in my response saying. It goes with the house decor. They begged and then refused to come over anymore till I remove it. My brother thinks it's petty and childish and said I should take it down. Am I the idiot? P.S. First of all, my wife does not mind having the photo up, she laughs about it sometimes, but she's still carrying some hurt that was caused by what happened. And second of all, no, she no longer does easy girl it's all in the past. And did I mention that my brother and I aren't close. He's known as the crackhead in the family. So that's that. Not the idiot for having it where his parents can see it, but I feel like he should rethink his strategy going forward, there could be other ramifications as his child gets older. Not the idiot, is it petty? Yes, yes it is. Is it your right to be petty? Yes, it is. Not the idiot, it's my kind of petty. But take it down before your child is old enough to notice and ask questions. Why not do mom and dads and hang them all together and learn about DNA as a science topic? These parts are the same, these are different, you are part mom and part dad and all you. Elevate the petty into stabbing the grandparents in the eyeballs petty level and giving the kid a STEM lesson at the same time. Win. My wife and I were invited to my brother's 31st birthday. He's single and lives alone in his apartment. So to give you the heads up, my wife and him don't get along so well. But can be civil enough to sit at the same table. So, we went and had dinner and talked and everything was going well, no argument nothing till after my wife went to use the bathroom. Later my brother went to use the bathroom and then came back looking pissed. He kept giving me and my wife looks, but I didn't know what was going on till he pulled me aside before we left and told me that my wife had left her used pad in his bathroom. I was shocked and didn't know what to say because this felt highly inappropriate. He said he didn't appreciate what my wife did and that it was a sign of disrespect towards him. I apologized profoundly and said I didn't know about it. He asked me to speak to her or she wouldn't be welcome in his place anymore. We got in the car and I asked my wife about it, she nonchalantly said there was nothing wrong with what she did and that my brother was being ridiculous. I kind of flipped and told her it was very inappropriate for her to leave her used pad in his place, even if it was in the bathroom and in the trash can, because it made him uncomfortable. She yelled asking what she was supposed to do and I told her she could have taken it with her and thrown it outside not in his bathroom, that's my brother's place, and he told me how he felt about it. She yelled at me calling my brother an insult and me an idiot for getting in her face about it. She said she needed to use the bathroom and it's not like the pad was visible since she dumped it in the trash can. At home, we still argued about it and she kept on calling me and my brother names. She's currently not speaking to me and is avoiding me entirely. Regardless, I feel like it's his place and he gets to express what makes him uncomfortable in it. 
The SI can't give info or expand on what was seen, but I can tell you that the trash can does not have a lid. It's not like one of those trash cans that have a lid on top and you can push it. What I want to emphasize is the fact that as guests we should respect people's homes and not argue about what makes them uncomfortable. He said it made him uncomfortable, and that should, in my opinion, be acknowledged. Oh. See, the way you were describing it made it seem like she left it unwrapped on the edge of the sink or something. But she threw it away. In the bin. That's meant for trash. So yeah. You're the idiot. This is so much. I was really confused reading it until the last paragraph where, oh my god it was in the bin the whole time. Seriously what is with guys who spend their bathroom break searching bins? I feel like almost every month there's at least one of these posts about some evil woman putting her bloody temp in her pad in a bin. Do men hide other things in bins, is that why they're always looking through them and get upset when they're used to dispose of trash? If so, I would like to make a public service announcement that bins are used for trash. If you don't want a bin used for a particular type of trash, label it, egg, recycling only. Compost only, etc. Please walk me through the logic here like I'm five, cause you lost me. The pad is too disgusting to put in the bathroom trash can, so you would rather that she put it in a pocket or her purse or just carry it around instead. It's too disgusting for the literal trash can, so she should instead carry it on her person. During a birthday party. Are you guys serious? How old are you? Of course, you're the idiot, and so is your brother. How is she cleanly and safely disposing of hygiene products inappropriate at all, never mind highly? In what way exactly is it disrespectful? You guys need to grow up because this reaction is pathetically juvenile. Your P.S. If he's uncomfortable with the products used for menstruation and their disposal, he shouldn't invite people who menstruate into his home. That's all the acknowledgement his thought process deserves. My family is from South Asia, but we live in the States. My parents loved my older brother and tolerated me. They expected me to just stay home and take care of them and my brother. That wasn't for me. I got a partial scholarship to a state school and go out. I worked the four years of my undergrad and was fortunate enough to get a full scholarship for my after degree. So I graduated from university with only a small debt and two degrees. I found a career that I really enjoy and a husband who loves me. My parents paid for my brother's education and he does very well for himself. But he has chosen to have five children. And they all go to private schools and have all kinds of extracurricular activities. And his wife is a psalm even though they have a nanny. I know five young children would be difficult to manage. I'm just saying that she has a degree as well, but they have chosen to be a one-income household. We are expecting our first child. We waited a few years before deciding to start our family. We will be stopping at two and my husband will be getting a vasectomy afterward. We are very much in agreement about our future. My parents however have decided that they are going to sell their home and come live with us. We have a large property with an in-law suite in an HCOL, high cost of living, city on the west coast. I told my husband that I did not want them living with us, and he concurred. So I told them no. They said that they already listed their home and that a dutiful daughter would take care of her parents in their old age. I said that if they gave me all the money from the sale of their home, I would find them a nice retirement home where they could live and that I would pay the bills until they passed away. They didn't like that idea very much. They called me an ungrateful child and that it was expected of me. I sent them a check for one year's worth of rent, food, utilities, and sundries. I said I moved out one year after I turned 18 and that they were responsible for me up to that point. I then told them not to contact me again without going through my lawyer. I have been playing whack-a-mole blocking all of their attempts to reach me. And all of my family members both in the states and back home are calling me the idiot. My brother contacted me and said that I was making the family look bad by not taking them in. So I gave him the choice of either taking them in himself or never bringing it up to me again or I would be going North Carolina with him as well. So was I too harsh. And does that make me the idiot? I should probably add that they didn't approve of me marrying a person, not from their culture and religion. So they didn't contribute to our wedding even though they did attend. Not the idiot. DNA doesn't entitle anyone to anything you don't want to give. Not the idiot. Girl, you're handling your crap like a champ. You're heroic. Not the idiot. I am very impressed with the hardline boundaries you set up so quickly and I have a feeling you will have no problem keeping them. As to the rest of the family, as you have stated, they are welcome to open up their homes and their wallets and house them if they feel so strongly about the family image. Seriously impressed. It's so refreshing to hear about someone who actually respects themselves and doesn't roll over to be walked on. The golden child needs to shut up and make room for mommy and daddy. Your parents don't get to treat you like your only existence is to serve them. Not the idiot. I have the feeling cultural expectations are at play here and that being the girl puts and has put the burden of care on you. 
good for you for standing up for yourself. Not the idiot.